welcome in, welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hey, hey, how's it going? How are you guys good. doing out there? Would you guys like a Pepsi? <laughs> Is Pepsi bringing those uh, cool beverages down to the border? I mean, that's where we are now. We're uh, reporting live from the border, as you can oh, see. Oh, yeah. I mean, duh. I mean, you don't remember when uh, I think it was like Kylie Jenner, right? Um, when she had that that photo where she uh, was giving the Pepsi, right, to the to the protest or something like that. Was that her? Remember? Not really. I do remember. Yeah, that it was, no, it was an ad. It was a Pepsi ad in which it was like some sort of protest. And I think Kylie Jenner gave them a Pepsi. You don't remember that? No. Come on, dude, come on. Really? Uh, I don't watch Kylie Jenner. You don't watch TV, a, bro? I don't keep up with those people. You don't watch the Kardashians? Not as you know what? I got to look it up. Hold on. Kardashian? I was like, tell uh, me, Pepsi. tell me, tell me exactly what, where we are right now. Uh, like, we went down oh, here. Where are we right now? Um, yeah. We are in the seventh level of clown hell. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean the background? Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, we're at the Mexican border. Um, I came <laughs> to pick up. Yeah, because the, you know the Mexican border is kind of wide open right now, um, as you guys can see. Um, there's people coming in and out all kinds of colors from all kinds of countries. So I'm actually having some friends coming over to visit me here in Mexico um, from Arizona. So I'm here at the border. And when I came to the border to pick them up, I saw this. I was like, what the hell? (laughs) By the way, you're my cousin that I'm picking up. Isn't it nuts though? Like, okay, so. Yeah, I I didn't, didn't, why are they speaking French? Why are they speaking Haitian? Yeah, why are they? I feel like uh, one of them is, uh, is speaking to Allah. Yes, you know, um, I, I, a lot of Muslims are here. I didn't know, I didn't know that Mexico's border was so progressive. Right. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Shotgun News. We're live Tuesday and Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. And uh, I really appreciate you guys out there. I see a lot of comments already coming in. Lucifer's Shout out there. You. Cody's out there. Opie's out there. Pedro's out there. Shout Love out it. to you. But everybody, yeah, I mean, honestly, you know, I feel very safe, though. I see I feel very safe around all these people because, uh, look, these people, um, they're not even getting COVID tests or shots or anything. I mean, because they've already been um, in a sense. um, How do I say this? Like they're immune. Right. I mean, so since they're immune to like the whole thing, you know, the government feels safe enough, you know, where they don't even have to, you know, make sure that they're you know, they have COVID or not because they're just coming in and out without any, I mean, you normally, I mean, right now in any part of the world, you can't even sit down at a McDonald's, right? Without going through 38 protocols. But these people, they're so COVID safe that they're allowed to come in and out of the country without any problem. They don't even, that's pretty cool, right? Sweet. Yeah, in fact, a lot of people are asking me, it's like, hey man, what's the best way to get to Mexico right now? Just the border, just just cross the border. Yeah, but they're all, they're all going the other way, Jose. They're, no, no, they're, they're not, actually they're going the both ways, States. which is hilarious. That's the hilarious part. I mean, yes, more people are going into the U.S., but they're actually coming in and out, which is uh, fucking hilarious. Yeah, because so a lot of these migrants are going into the U.S. and then they're realizing, oh wait a minute, we can't just like go in here. It's hard. So we can just go in here, um, look for a job, you know, look for opportunity, do whatever, and then just come back to the other side of the border, you know, have a Pepsi, you know, grab ourselves uh, some tacos for cheap and sleep and then uh, cross back into the U.S. and do it again the next day. (laughs) I mean, for real, that's what they're doing, literally. So, I mean, that's pretty cool, man. You know, that's pretty progressive, man. Open borders, baby. By the way, if you're coming from, if you're coming from a, a first world country and you're vaccinated and you have every single uh you know one of your requirements met you're not allowed to come into the u.s so that's why like let's say you're coming on vacation from like i don't know spain or any one of these european countries and uh, they're not allowing you to come in because you know the covid or whatever all you got to do is just fly into tijuana or fly into you know mexicali any one of these uh cities on on the mexican side of the border and and in fact the reason i say tijuana is because you can literally fly into tijuana international airport and then just cross over into the u.s from the airport it's a lot easier it's a lot easier that one no no protocols no one's really going to be fucking with you or leaving you know they're not even uh wait so, I so think that's I'm, the best I'm, way. I'm confused can like do you know because you were down in texas and maybe you know this more than i do 
these illegal immigrants that are crossing over, they can't vote, right? They cannot vote. What do you mean? Like right now, aren't they passing all these laws that is allowing people uh, to vote without ID? Sort of. I mean, they're trying to, but they're not going to get HR like one, which is what they're trying to pass. They're not going to get that one. So yeah, but they're going to get some sort of ID. You think they're going to be able to vote? If they want them to vote, yeah. I mean, I know they can vote in like California for sure. I mean, look, right? man. I don't want. I mean, how it works is like this. You know what I mean? They just they they have. Um, the thing is, it's not like what you think it is, man. Back in the day, they used to have to physically get these people to use these fake IDs to go in there and vote and yada, yada, yada. But now because of all the Dominion stuff and all this other crazy shit, you know, with all the, the voting, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, with all uh, the, the funny business going on, all the voting stuff, you know, basically they, 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 don't, they don't even need to do that. They just do it. And then what happens is that, yeah, a lot of these illegal immigrants. You're right, though. I think. West, I think well, hold on. a lot of these illegal immigrants are coming to the U.S. and eventually do vote. You got to remember, they can't vote till they become citizens. So it takes a while. It takes like five, six years. I don't think so. I think they can vote so long as they have like proof of an address. I don't know if they need much else. Like proof of a driver's license, proof of an address. I guess. I mean, is that, I, I thought you had to be a citizen to I, vote. I don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Like, I don't think so much. Are you sure? I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I'm just saying. I'm trying to remember how I registered to vote and what I needed to show them. Yeah, but I, you're was, you're an American born in the U.S. Correct. So all I had to do was like, all I did was pre-register, and I gave them my home address and I think my driver's license number online, and then I showed up to vote. And I don't know if that was necessary because then I just showed up to vote, and I all I did was show them I think my license, along with uh, proof of where I live, like uh, like some type of. No, I think that was it. I think all I did was show them my license. Well, yeah, I mean. So um, I'm curious if all these people who are crossing can vote, because if that's the case, you know how many people have come over, apparently, Jose? And we both know that these numbers are completely false. And I have nothing against people immigrating to the United States. Yeah, but these people are probably not going to vote, per se. What's going to happen is that these people will be registered to vote, and then they'll just vote for them. You know what I mean? Like, for example, there's this joke. There was this joke. Uh, this is like, by the way, I heard this back in like the 90s or whatever, but there's a jo running joke that says, uh, um, it's like, you know, my dad just passed away the other day. He spent 65 years and he never once voted Democrat. And then the friend goes, not yet. Right. And <laughs> now yeah. he's dead. <laughs> boom, boom. Opie Taylor says the construction workers did. Yeah, what happened? Like that wall. That wall that was supposed to be built. Mm. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Where's that fucking wall? Not that, I, again, I don't have anything against illegal, like, dude, immig but all immigrants we need, at all. Dude, all we need fact, is a, lot of, a lot of immigrants are better United States citizens than the active American citizens. But you are, in, like, if you just have people come over as a criminal, you're really incentivizing them to vote for people who would then make them not criminals and get to stay for sure Dude, all we need is a pepsi and we're good to go in fact here let me say i'm gonna send you the commercial i'm gonna send you the, the pepsi commercial with all kylie right. jenner um stopping a riot with with pepsi you know that's why i don't know why we're not doing this why are we not like flinging pepsi cans at the cops oh wait never mind i mean <laughs> anyone anyone are you there? Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I lose you? <laughs> no. I'm here. Oh, my. Am I boring you, sir? No. Oh, I, I see you left. Oh, no, I'm wait. Back. I left. I'm, coming, I'm not in the desert anymore. You're back. You're back. You're back. Oh, my God. What's going on over there, bro? Just running the controls. <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. You should play the, yeah, play the, the commercial in the back so we can take a little trip down memory lane. Hey, I mean, four office, years ago, I mean, Nikon. back in 27, back in 2017, during the Super Bowl or some shit like that, um, Kylie Jenner saved, Kendall Jenner saved the world. Really? Um, give me a second. Are we still on? <laughs> yeah, we're on, bro. Why isn't Look. that link that you sent me doesn't work? I don't know. Oh, hold on. Let me resend it. Maybe I fucked up. His calculation.
I don't. No, no. I mean, you it's, you clicked it from the Discord, right? It's there. I just copied it. Huh. You try it again, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. When are you going to get the new computer, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now it's working. Okay. Let's listen. Let's listen. I haven't seen this in forever, so that's the first time for me, too. God, <laughs> some of the lamest shit ever, Jose. <laughs> I don't know about this commercial. So, yeah, so she joins the mob, and then she gives a coke to the, uh, the, the, the police. Some of that predictive programming. <laughs> so that's what the Black Lives Matter protests were supposed to be like. <laughs> hey, let me this take a, let me so take a photo of ago. you as you. As you do your thing. And that was four years ago. But yeah, man, how th times have changed. And I don't know. I mean, do you remember that there was a black lady with like a dress and she would, there was like some protests and she was also giving them a Pepsi or a flower or something. And I don't know if that was before this or after that. But I mean, but just to go show, I mean, just to show you how far we've come in just a few months, AKA years to where things are now. In fact, um, I don't know if you want to do this or you not. You know what it's like, though? Like, what is... Oh. What yeah. are... In that commercial, Jose, what are they protesting? Did, did we no, ever no, see this that? Or does it not well, matter? No, but remember, this is back before, you know, so back in 2017. So I don't, I don't, I don't know if there was any protests, per yes. se. I, I don't know what the fuck that commercial was about. In fact, there's a lot of... Con look, as I was looking up the commercial, there was a lot of videos about controversy about that commercial about you know what the fuck is she doing what the fuck is that commercial about what the fuck is going on you know yada 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 so i mean real quick but, but i mean just to show you how far we've come from that point to where we are now where you know lucifer and the discord shared a video or a live stream of what's going on right now in melbourne where everybody is protesting i don't know if you want to show that it seems like yeah. There's also an earthquake going on there too. I'm not quite sure, but. But anyways. Where did you put this? Like, uh, seems like there's some protests happening out oh, yeah. there too. Oh. Yeah, I can't find it. Is it in Chaka News Discord? I'm sorry. Oh yeah, here okay. we go. Yep. 
But yeah, see, we can see it. He said he doesn't know if it's blocked. It's not blocked in Mexico. Oh, it says this I can't be reached. I don't know what's going on. Maybe that's me, though. Interesting. Is this watch live ABC News highlights? I don't know if that would be it. Yes. Oh, but that's live news. That's live. Yeah, that's live right now in, in Australia. Uh, there's like some uh, yeah, it's protests like that are about to happen. Nothing's really happening, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> the site can't be reached. I, I remember. Yeah. I remember seeing news stories about people in Australia having enough and running up against the police, which is interesting. Yeah, we'll know what's going on with your internet. Not my internet. That's, I mean, because like everything else is working. It's just something with maybe Chrome doesn't like that video. Oh wow, interesting. So that's that's what that's how it shows up on your thing, huh? This site can't be reached. That's interesting. Well, like, here I'll try to load another YouTube video right here. See, this one works fine. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah, because usually it says like, oh, this video is blocked or this video this, or you know. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, our, uh, Lucifer says. No, only a handful of people showed up to the protest today. Mm. Yeah, so nobody's there. But still, there's only like five cops. Dude, I was at a gas station just earlier this afternoon, and mm. this is a guy who I've, like, I, I know this gas station attendant. Mm -hmm. And he's like, um, he's like, yeah, yeah this is my first day back. I actually, the first thing I said was, because they still have the plexiglass up between me and the people that are working mm. at and I, I was like, so when are they going to get rid of this? <laughs> and he said, oh, I don't know. But I just got back. I mean, from probably never, because, I mean, that glass, I mean, is also going to act as a, you know what I mean? Like, to deter crime and shit type of stuff, I guess, right? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. Go well, moving on. But this is, this is a, like, they didn't install a full protective glass. It's just, like, it ends right where the register ends. And then it ends again where the other, so just a, it's like just a huge piece of, like, plexiglass that's, faced upward it's not even bolted to anything it's just cumbersome and in the way honestly it probably actually spreads viruses more than anything else because it's it ruins airflow in the building <laughs> you remember that they started yeah. putting out all the stuff about the schools and they actually released a study recently that all those glass tanks they were putting around kids they say now that that definitely harmed circulation in the classroom and probably caused pockets of virus to spread or could have yeah yeah you know. But so how I would, the fuck, I, what does it say? There's only two people watching, and I know for a fact there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like eight people watching. What the fuck's going on? I don't know. Are you on YouTube or Twitch or D Live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, okay. yes, that got me and a friend watching at the same time. So that's two um, plus you, three um, plus Lodak, Lucifer, Pedro, Opie. That's like seven right there. Yeah, you're right. YouTube is being weird. Oh, weird. Okay. Yeah, fucking assholes, Rosa Bear. <laughs> they're fucking. They're definitely fucking shadow banning us. We said too many words. Yeah. So I was at the gas station and I said, "When are you guys gonna get rid of this plexiglass thing?" And he said, "Oh, I don't know." And I just got back from having COVID. This is my first day back. And I said, "Oh, wow." And he goes, oh, "Great." He goes, "Yeah, I, uh, I was." Um, what did he say? He said, "He said a couple of things." He said, "Um." Yeah, I tested positive last Thursday. They guilt tripped me back into coming into work. And I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> I said, was it bad? And he goes, yeah, I couldn't taste anything. I kept calling my girlfriend and saying, come on over. I'll eat you out. I can't taste anything. <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, to me. Uh, he's like, come on over. Bring some, put some of those raisins in the potato salad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So I laughed at that. And then I said, um, I said, oh, was it, was it, was it bad? And he's. Like he goes, no, he goes, no, I told you I can't taste anything. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, he's like, he's, he's coughing and he's handling multiple things that I've purchased. He's coughing. Oh, that's good. So you know, you got that natural immunity. All right. Yeah. So I, you know, I know this guy pretty well. So I said, oh, you don't have to stay, but cause I, I personally wouldn't appreciate somebody asking this, but I know this guy enough. I said, oh, you don't have to say, but I mean, did you get vaccinated on this? Um, and he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got vaccinated. Oh, Interesting. You know what I'm thinking? You know what I really wonder? And then you know, I, just, Jose, I gotta tell you this. Yeah, yeah. I said, I wish there was a place where I could just go get tested to see if like I have the antibodies. And then it became very obvious that I had not been vaccinated. Yeah. And then he goes, Oh, there's a place. It's actually right down the road. And it's and he starts he starts re, he starts from memory 
telling me the phone number of this place. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, how do you remember that? And he goes, well, I've called it multiple times. <laughs> wow. Interesting. And I'm like, let me, I took out my phone and I started typing in the phone number and I entered it in my phone as COVID test. <laughs> Not to get vaccinated, just to see. Just curious, huh? Just so, just to see if, like, hey, dude, I wouldn't mind knowing if I already have the antibodies. That'd be helpful to know. Like, I don't think the virus is fake, but I do believe that this vaccine is not safe. Oh, for sure, one million percent. The the thing is not safe. Again, you go to your doctor, you decide what you want to do. You know, all that yada yada yada. You know, bullshit. But at the end of the day, uh, yeah, no, I take my, I rather take my chances with nature. You know, but anyways, but one thing I was just thinking to myself right now, which is that I don't know if this is something that people were talking about already when they were mentioning certain things like, oh, the shedding or whatever. But my my thought is like, let's say that, OK, you're that guy. He, he got the vaccine and after he got the vaccine, he got sick. And now, by the way, and he got sick because of the vaccine. But now when you get sick, you're getting sick from whatever the fuck was in that vaccine so it's almost as if you got the vaccine do you i mean do you think that that could be it because i mean for example like i know a lot of people that have gotten sick and a lot of them have had the vaccine and i'm I'm thinking to myself hmm i wonder if i actually got it which i'm I'm sure i've already have you know i've probably got every variant but i'm saying is like i wonder if i got it or if i'm sick from whatever the fuck they got from the vaccine and am I sick from that and I mean I'm wondering but I'm not sick you know what I mean I'm, I'm very healthy but I know I've a few times no <laughs> okay. no but you know like when you're almost like about to get sick and then you might take like some vitamin c um take a little this a little that and then it goes away like a 24-hour bug so I've had a couple of those and the last time I got one and, and I've had I have a little tickle in my throat and even Christian and at first I thought that it was because I smoke a lot, you know what I mean? But but Christian has it and she doesn't smoke at all. And so I'm like, huh, I wonder, you know what I mean? If I got, you know what I mean? This last time it, it stayed around and lingered a little bit. But again, it's like, I don't know anyone really that's gotten sick organically. It seems like everyone has gotten sick from the vaccine. You I feel just, me? Like why, why would he be able to get seriously sick to the point where now he's coughing? When he's already been vaccinated and supposedly has antibodies to fight off the virus so now the virus enters his body and he gets sick makes i mean it's not like this isn't the second year it's not like he got the first you know it's not like we're talking about something that already would have had time to become a different type of virus and affect him in a different way where the vaccine wouldn't work i mean i know viruses are constantly mutating so maybe it's just like the flu flu virus where they they vaccinate everybody and then it mutates and they just are guessing which one's going to be the dominant one of the season and maybe like truthfully nobody's really vaccinated well no no it no, seem no like I they cut down no, on the, no, no. Every, cut- yeah there's a lot of people vax out there and i think that again there's something beyond that but like real quick let's read some comments real quick because i'm just, just part of the conversation but see lucifer says the ivermectin has been banned in australia which is crazy because ivermectin is like kind of like aspirin or something it's like a regular man in fact in mexico you can buy that shit over the counter ivermectin and what's the other one called again the hydrochloroquine Hydrochloroquine. you can buy buy, buy those no problem out here um very easy very cheap very very cheap you know very easily accessible out here but it's so hard to access in the u.s and in australia they straight up banned it which is nuts 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 because that's like you know that's like a like a fucking that's like a medicine that literally won nobel peace prize after after nobel peace prize for you know the 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 change it brought to to the to the world you know in a positive way but anyways same with hydrochloroquine technically okay okay well yeah i mean i know i know for sure the other one the ivermectin anyways who cares next thing i mean goes okay so pedro says yes 100 percent in the realm of possibility look it up um asymptomatic Asymptomatic fast breeders and shedding yeah so i I have been i heard about shedding from the very beginning when the whole virus thing but i don't know what the fuck it was but now as i'm kind of seeing it in action i'm like oh wait a minute this could actually be a thing so anyways i'm I'm curious to think you know what what's going to happen with that um my by the way my local government here in mexico has said the other day that now a hundred percent of all of its citizens are um vaccinated so basically a hundred again you already know 
where me, Christian, and a bunch of people that live out here stand on that matter. But anyways, according to the government, 100% of the people are vaccinated already. So I'm like, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, they got you. So, well, no, maybe because it's shedding. Maybe because of that too, you know what I mean? But anyways, Opie says, I heard if you carajo, a vax person, the vax is passed like an STD. Okay, so I think he's trying to use a, a Spanish word. So carajo, may, it's more like when you're saying, God damn it, or shit or fuck like in that kind of sense so when you're saying i carajo that's kind of like what you mean by that so you saying carajo meaning fuck like meaning what he was trying to really say is like i heard if you fuck a vaxxed person you get the vax like an std well maybe that's probably true because isn't the vax like derived from aids that's why i call it covid no the but virus anyway. is derived from aids like it has the same yeah. aids so there you go so yeah probably that's probably true but and i mean you can pass a cold and a flu through sex as well but anyways opie um but you, you just you know just get to back get, you know get back to that little spanish lesson there you, you use carajo in the wrong way <laughs> like basically if you get um if you get uh the virus because you fucked somebody that got the vax, then you would be saying, ay carajo, like, God damn it. You know what I mean? Like, okay. So, so the right word would be, um, I heard that if you, um, well, you can say sin God, but that's not Mexican. I heard if you, um, what's the word for fuck? Just in you Mexican. Just say Go ahead. Um, si te coge. Go, because go ahead. Go ahead means to grab. Coge means that they, yeah, there you go. You got it. Coge means that they grabbed you. So maybe you could say, um, I heard that if a vax person, they coge, that means that if a vax person fucks you in the ass, um, then it's passed to you. So that makes more sense. I was logging for the, for I was, the listeners out there, you know? Yeah, I, I was logging into in a Twitter earlier today and I was looking at what people were talking about and they were, somebody was tweeting out and they had like a lot of likes. And they said, "Hey, I'm like, uh, man, nine crazy month. I, I I know nine people who've passed away. Two of them from just regular illnesses and such, and and uh, and seven of them from the vaccine." <laughs> yeah, fuck. <laughs> I was like, and this thing had a lot of likes, and all the commenters, they were like, "Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss." Like, there was not a lot of um, yeah, oh, nobody bull, even not a lot of people going bullshit. It was just. Oh, I'm so sorry that happened. Yeah, yeah, no one even better than I, bro. I mean, that's how fucking zombified everybody is, bro. Yeah, but he said from the vaccine. Dude, it's like, it's like saying like, oh man, I got like uh, seven friends of mine. Uh, I mean, I got like nine friends of mine and seven of them died from the same thing. Oh shit, what did they die from? Oh, uh, bad Pepsi. What? Fuck. Huh? Bro, or, I don't think you're or, ever going to drink a Pepsi ever again. You know what I'm saying, right? Yes or no? Yeah. Get the fuck out of well, here. So like, people are like, oh, seven of my friends died from the vaccine. Oh. Like, we don't know, Jose, if <laughs> nobody who's been vaccinated has had a baby yet, obviously, because we're only like nine months past when people, even adult, like grown 65-year-olds started getting vaccinated. No, we have not had any COVID babies. Where the yeah, two, but do you think that that matters? I mean, what? Oh, it certainly could matter. Like the two people are are like twenty eight years old and they get vaccinated and then they start having a baby. We haven't seen that happen yet. It could certainly have an impact. They're still they have full immunity from the government because of the emergency use authorization. So Pfizer can't get in trouble. And you don't think that could impact a baby? Right now they're still talking about how like hearts can. Uh, get big you know like uh what's that inflammation of the heart and a bunch of other things oh yeah 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 dude i mean yeah and then, dude, and mean... then they still get sick and then you yeah. still get sick with the virus and you still have to go and drive up to a building and get nasal swab from the car window and they go oh yep you're positive like what did you get no, but yeah, I mean, you you got it, bro. I mean, the whole thing is just like fucking uh, how many people, I mean, have you seen like the Project Veritas video and all this other shit, you know, where they're now, you know, coming, you know, like they're showing all these videos of uh, what's, uh, what of undercover in the nurses station and in hospitals and, uh, you know, having them talking like, yeah, dude, you know, so many people are now flooding the hospitals with COVID, but they're all, um, they've all gotten the jab. In fact, notice that you're not seeing any nurses with dancing videos anymore. Is because well, they're actually working now. They actually have the hospitals full of people, but they're all because they got the jab. So, 
But anyways, Pedro was asking me, hey, is that what you have the glasses on, Jose? Um, you're the only one in the Yucatan not jabbed. Um, no, no, I actually have my glasses on and I'm drinking uh, <clears throat> Pepsi because I'm recovering from my birthday party. I, on, on Saturday was my 40th birthday party and I'm still hung over. Yes, I know, like four days later. But yeah, that's Happy it. birthday, Jose. Happy birthday. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm 40 in, uh, in, uh, in dildo years, whatever the fuck we are, right? Hairless, hairless monkeys. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Hairless beavers, I think. Hairless beavers is right. Yeah. Shaved beavers. Pedro goes, of course, the entire masses will do it, but you wouldn't have to even throw it very hard at all as long as the ceramic makes contact. Ceramic. Ceramic makes contact. All you need is a ceramic screw. Hey, what? what are we talking about? I don't know. Yeah, well, happy, happy birthday, Jose. I hope you had a good one. What the fuck are you talking about? Hey, quick, Jose, tell us what happened to the Dolphins this weekend. They, um, <laughs> they got the wagon circled around them, right? The wagons circled around By them. By who? A, Which team? The Buffalo Bills, bro. The Buffalo Bills came in, All right. literally raped the Dolphins in the ass. In <laughs> fact, they're now, the Buffalo, Buffalo had to leave South Florida. They had to, like, um, escape back to New York. Um, because they are now, um, they, they raped, they raped the Dolphins. You know that's how bad it was, and so they're not allowed back in the state, um, at least till next season, because they raped the, <laughs> the Dolphins. Dolphins. Are now an endangered species. <laughs> yes, I mean, so right now, uh, because of Buffalo, you know what I mean? Like they are yeah. now, uh, you know, Buffalo. I um, mean, the Dolphins are in intensive intensive care, you know, with uh, multiple rape wounds, unfortunately, you know, and um, the Buffalo Bills had to escape, and now they are uh, hanging out. And uh, back in New York, you know, back in the woods, you know, uh, butt raping other people. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, by the way, I saw that you you showed this, a video there of someone changing a clip or whatever. Yeah. So I don't know if you know, um, but now YouTube, shout out to YouTube. Um, YouTube is now banning um, uh, videos on hunting and homesteading and shit like that because a bunch of channels that talk about hunting and do hunting stuff you know hunting youtube channels um they're all starting to get demonetized and banned and blocked and taken down wow i didn't know that so, okay so homestead yeah no i didn't know that i found this loud like an hour ago or something i was watching some shit and like it, it's and so after so if that's the case that means that they're going to be coming after you know all kinds of like homesteading people next and I might be next after that because I'm I'm part of that. You know what I mean? I'm like a no, no, no. You're no, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm being I'm kind of like self sustainable, but out of out of the country. You know what I mean? So uh, you're kind of a globalist travel channel. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I'm part of the NWO globalism. Yeah. Correct, correct. So that's why I should not get banned. That's why you shouldn't get banned. And in fact, there's shadow ban. It needs to be lifted. <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, YouTube sent me a, a thing, and he said, and they go, "Actually, we've been pumping your channel, and those numbers are uh, fake, but the opposite. <laughs> you should really be getting like five views, not five hundred. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, "Hey, Jose, we're we've, trying. We're we've, trying to push yeah, your we're, shit. We're really we're, trying this, but uh, you got to do more on your end. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, try being good. <laughs> <laughs> the bots are getting tired." Uh, Lucifer says, can you still do cat videos on YouTube? Actually, yes. In fact, um, the, um, the YouTube uh, 2022 agenda, I think, is that they, they want 60% um, mainstream media and 40% cat videos. They're, they're even going to ban dog videos, only cat videos. So 40% cat videos is, and then 60% uh, CNN, MSNBC, shit like that. So only pussies. Only pussies on, on the YouTubes. I don't want any alpha dogs or males or alpha or anything, you know. So only only pussies are very kind. Hairless pussies, hey. hairy pussies, fluffy pussies, cute pussies. Do you, Jose, you know, all kinds of pussies playing with yarn. Yeah. Do you sorry. do you think that the evergreen situation in China is actually impacting the stock market and the Bitcoin, or what's going on with stock? Hold market on, hold on. Uh, let me check. No. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, what's what, dude, what's making a drop then? Just manipulation? No, no, no. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, manipulation. But the thing is, it's like what always goes on, which is these moves are very calculated. This is was already a planned pump and dump drop. You know, whatever the dump. Um, and they just used uh, the evergreen news, just like they will use any other kind of news like that in order to. Do 
like give a give validity to the to the dump. You know what I mean? Like say, hey, look, the reason it dumped was because this thing that's been going on for fucking years. Um, you know, now we're gonna cover it, even though everybody knows it's been going on, but we're gonna cover it now for an hour or two on CNBC, and we're gonna make you believe that that's the reason why everything dumped. And now after everything dumped, um, a day later or two, we're gonna fucking buy everything up from under you again. And then, and then say that the evergreen thing got uh, resolved, you know, because of uh, some bullshit, whatever news. You know, because at the end of the day, it's, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter, man, because like right now, the United States stock market, just like any other stock, like just like the Chinese stock market, um, is is fake, phony and false. You know what I mean? It's just fake. And so what do I mean by that? Well, there's no real price discovery. There's no real true value um, associated with the market. And what, what happens is, is that as they print money, they, they buy stock. They put that money into the stock market because how the people view the economy is through the stock market and, and how the mainstream media views the economy is through the stock market. So it doesn't matter that it's 80% unemployment out there um, as long as the Dow Jones, you know, the NASDAQ is in the green and pumping up. You know what I saw? Is, but everything is great. And, and how can they keep it from pumping up by well, printing money and putting it in the thing? Because if they don't print money and don't put it in the system, then yeah, dude, the, the, the crash of all crashes would have already happened. You know, so, what, you know what was funny? Yeah. I was watching Mitch Ray the other day, and mm -hmm. this is so hilarious. I almost wanted to like clip it and get it as a sound clip for the show. He was going, um, he was trying to show something on his on his screen. Mm -hmm. It was so funny, dude. He was trying to show something on the screen, and he goes like, um, he goes, now look at this, and now careful, careful. I'm gonna need two hands. <laughs> it was the most hilarious thing. Uh, it was um, little, maybe you had to beat it. I'll go get the clip. But he was like, um, "Now watch closely." Wait, hold on, hold on. Now, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta slap you there because I don't know the fuck he was talking. About. He was like, "Now watch closely. You might need two hands." <laughs> here, here. I'm gonna use my hand right now. Look, I'm using my fucking hand. Here, hold my beer. Careful my now, beer. careful now. You might need two hold hands my, for this. Hold my Pepsi. Hold my Pepsi. I need to strangle you right now. Careful. You might need two hands, Jose. Yeah, well, definitely. Whoa, I mean, if I'm gonna, whoa, definitely, we might need two hands. Yeah, definitely. If I'm gonna be, if I'm gonna be handling my cock, I'm definitely gonna be needing two hands for sure. The girth is too much. Yes. Uh, Tim Pool tweeted out, "Why is Gabby Petito thing news?" Whoa. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Confrontational. Is that uh, wait? Is that exactly what you? That's asked exactly. Me a couple, yeah, I didn't, you asked me a couple minutes ago. Yeah, right before. We yeah, went because watch. I was like, I mean, I, I've been hearing it all over the place, no, and I still don't get it. Do it you want to hear something? Look, I don't know too much about it, but I did see in my local Facebook feed. Because remember, I live in Mexico. In my local Facebook feed, it seems like I think the person that killed her is loose out here in Mexico loose out here in this part of whatever and they're like hey be careful you know he's a killer he's i'm like bro be bro i'm surrounded by cartel and corrupt cops and fucking iguanas and okay i'm not i'm not i'm not running away from a guy that killed a fucking chick all right the fuck out of here we don't even know that he killed her that's the point like we're just like the whole media cycle we have billions of dollars of news organizations and what makes it to the top is something like Oh, this cute girl was nice. was murdered, apparently, allegedly. I think some YouTubers in the found desert, the body, right? Some YouTubers around the body or something. Some YouTubers. No, just people online, like you know, like did you ever watch that cat? What was that cat um, documentary on Netflix where there was? Are you sure? I heard it was some YouTubers, literally, like some. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're big or not. Oh but... no, no, no! These people were um kind of like what not what you do because you're traveling out in Mexico, but these people were apparently like, um, I don't know for sure, because I, again, I, I didn't look into it too much, because as soon as I realized, oh, it's just an open murder story, why would I want to learn about, an, like maybe once it's closed, but right now I'm not going to start learning about an open murder mystery, um, but apparently they were either TikTok or vlog or social media explorers, and mm -hmm. they were boyfriend and girlfriend, and now what's interesting, I guess, is that the boyfriend is considered definitely a high suspect because he was the only one out there with her. And then she went missing 
or didn't return on time. He never returned on time. And now he was cooperating with the police, but then stopped cooperating with the police because felt like, I don't know, I mean, whatever. He, he fled. He left the area, and, and now he has an attorney, and he's running, and the police raided his home, and people are seriously thinking that he might be the murderer. Or at the very least, he should show up and answer questions about what happened because he was the only one out there with her. But yeah, that's what I was talking about before the show, and we agreed. Like, there's no point in covering that story. And then Tim Pool. We just did, though. We just did. I know, but Tim Pool. We go on Twitter, and of course, Twitter always a, a key tool of the establishment. They would love us to talk about some random murder that has no impact on anything. It's just it'd be like talking about I don't know nothing, nothing. It'd be like talking about one of the many shootings in Chicago every weekend. Yes, you know. I totally agree. <laughs> like, oh no! A baby no. was killed in Chicago over the weekend. A drive-by shooting, Jose. No, I mean, I, I get it. I mean, you're one million percent on the on, on the ball there. You know, meaning that you know, again, of all of the things that they should be covering, there's a million zillion things happening, and they're focusing on this one thing, this one person. This one, which, by the way. You know, you would think it's an isolated case. Like this is only one time that this happens in the U.S. No. Dude, this probably happens multiple times a day across the U.S. It does. Oh, it does. I, in fact, remember I told. Oh, you. Oh wait, I forgot. You worked in insurance, so you know exactly the the, the actual number. So I mean, yeah, so the much. In fact, remember, dude? Do you remember I was talking to you like just two months ago, and Actually, I was telling you talking, at, we've been talking for years. Yeah, and at the I told you that my property manager called at the trailer park. Mm -hmm. and he says that somebody somebody on one of the roads like around town was just somebody just dropped a body and apparently it was the it was the boyfriend and he just dropped his girlfriend's body off of like from mm -hmm. his car and the the vehicle at match identified like or matched to somebody inside like just the description mm -hmm. like oh a silver whatever match somebody inside the trailer parks car wow. But they ruled that one out because it wasn't, it wasn't the guy that they were looking for. Right. But, so it wasn't that car. But that's the type of story that this is. It's like, whoa, why would somebody drop somebody? It's, it's apparently like they had a close relationship, like boyfriend, girlfriend. And then this story, oh, look how cute she is. Hmm. Plenty of cute people, folks. Yeah, Lodak is saying like the cops stopped them just before she came missing, split them up, and then put them back together the next day. It was big news here in Utah because they were in Utah. I thought yeah. it was in Florida. I thought it was in Florida. That the guy was the in Florida. In fact, I'm, I, I don't know. And, and even before that, I thought it was another state. So, they, I mean, this is a very weird no, the, story. The, the boy, now, the, now that we're talking about it, right? The boyfriend lives in Florida. His okay. home. Yeah, because he left from Florida to Mexico, supposedly. But why, why, would, yeah, why would they be dating if he's in Florida? And we're getting down in the detail here yeah i don't know man see the, the whole thing i think honestly it's just you know um, let me see wait okay before we move on you talk and i'm gonna see if i can find like she's gonna be surprised if this whole thing is just even some fabricated bullshit i'm gonna you know see I mean? if i can find like her youtube channel maybe she's like truly a youtuber but wait the, no, i'm not talking about the person that died was a youtuber the people that discovered the body Okay, well, that no, 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 no. They were just like people on Twitter going, I think I identified like a white car. It's the same car. This must be the area in which they were last seen. And then they, I, the mean, I, don't know. I, yeah. thought I, I thought I saw that. I thought I saw like YouTubers were the ones that, I don't know, man. Who knows? Maybe, you know, can you, man? Also, you know, now I'm starting to think, I wonder if there's been multiple of these murders happening at the same time with different, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like there's three stories and they're all very, same but they're very different and they're all being put out at the same time to kind of like oh dude totally dude look, look at this look at this everybody. you think look at this i'm looking at it on twitter i type in gabby whatever her name is okay they this, were from florida and then this girl goes uh repost while we're watching gabby patota's case unfold please take five seconds to read about daniel robinson the black man a geologist she didn't say that a geologist who went missing in the desert outside yeah. Buckeye three months ago. His father is still looking for him. In other words, this speaks to what you were saying. Where there's like this, this happens all the time. All the time. 
Okay, here she is. So does somebody here she is on let's this girl Hey, what's that video that you just sent, Lucifer? What the fuck is that? Hey, do you have a TikTok? Let's check yeah, if real. She, see if she's a big deal on TikTok. If what is that? What is that? Wait, what the fuck is that that you just sent there, Lucifer? Is that real? I'm sorry, man. I don't know. This is like bad for. Yeah, what are you man, I wish we could show it. I don't know if it's real or not. What the oh, fuck shit. is that? Did you see it? What the that is nasty. Fuck? That's got to be from some movie or something. Yeah, it looks fake as fuck, though. No, it doesn't look. It looks real, but I'm not. No, I'm not showing that shit. No, it looks fake. It looks kind of fake. I don't like it. Okay, what's what's her username on here? So let's see. Is this her? Is this the woman? This girl's TikTok. Is this her? I don't know. Is it? Why is she making this video and not talking to the police? No, no, no. This can't be her. Look at this. Look at this Twitter mafia. Look at this man's face. Study him. His name is Brian Laundry. Look out for mm -hmm. him and call someone when you see him. Yeah, Do not let out. him take his own life before he tells us the information he's hiding. Yeah, he's on his way out here. Okay, Carly. With 900 followers. Oh, see, Lodak says, see, I was right, damn it. Okay, so Pedro was saying, like, they were van life YouTube wannabes. Um, mm -hmm. Lodak says, there was, a, there was another double murder in the same area at the same time. And it's also why this story was so big. See, I told you, man, this is, no, there's this a lot is, of weird shit going on. Yeah, well, yeah, go ahead. No, this is a complete distraction. Look at this. I hope they find her, but I wish America would put this much energy into all missing women of color. <laughs> Come on, man. In the stat, you know, just in, like in the words of your own president, because I know you voted for him. Come on. Come on. Bruh. <laughs> Every, look at this. Look at this. By look saying at, women, by I'm saying I'm looking at uh, it, but I'm, I'm only, I can only listen because we're doing a podcast. So can you please read it to it's me? On because, it's on the background. Every missing. I know, but the, but the oh, other yeah, 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 yeah. listening. Every missing and, woman. And <laughs> yeah, every missing woman, girl of color, deserves the same level of searching that has been done for Gabby Patanatano. Hey, can, I, can I ask you a question, bro? Is white considered a color? White is bad. No, no, no. That's not what I understand. That's like saying. That's like saying. No, 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 no. That's not what I asked. Women of color, you think? Hey, is that it, no, white? no, no, no. Is white a color? Yes. Okay, so if they say women of color, that means all women. Because no, all I women, guess you could go ahead. Women and, have color, hey, yeah, right? Man, go ahead and play words with that. Like that's like saying. In fact, in fact, I know. will play words because that's what they do the best. In fact, let's use some science because they love science. If you are looking at the color spectrum of light, and you were to put all colors together, you know, aka the rainbow together, what color do you get? Black. No. What? You, you get don't get white. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No. Yeah, you do. You black. A lack, a lack of light. You can look it up. A lack of light is black. Right. So oh. when you have no light, One it's second. black. When you have all the lights, because remember, blue light, red light, yellow light, all these lights, part of the color spectrum, when you put them all together, they equal white. When red so and blue are white, in fact, white. white, you could you could literally say that white is superior to oh, all please. colors because nobody's saying that <laughs> when you put all the colors together. Excuse me. It let's, equals white. I don't care. Let's move and on thus, here. Look at and this. Thus the top of the thus it is the top of the patriarchy, the top of the hierarchy. I mean, okay. correct? Look, look at all. Look, in fact, well, I'm just saying, I'm just I'm just throwing some facts out there, bro. Yeah, but when they I don't, look, I'm blue, bro. I am blue. Hey, All that's right? like, dude, that's like saying, um, because we both know that the per I'm dark blue. You're light blue. That's Jose. That post is popular on Twitter because there is a race element in their post, and it's not them saying women of color, including white people. They're saying women of color, excluding white people. They're saying this is happening, like while this is happening, they're saying that white people are getting like this white woman. It's a tra it's tragic. But 
people of color don't get this type of attention. And when they say people of color, they're not saying, hey, well, no, but white it's true. people they don't do. get this kind of, clearly. So, um, you know, that's the point that they're making. That's what's popular. That's the popular sentiment. The words do matter, but at the same time, us pretending that, like, that she's just saying women of color, and that includes white people. She has a very race-centric frame of mind as she's posting true. that, and it's, it's popular on Twitter because of a very race, um, a very racy element, racist. No, you look, you're 100%. Listen, man, I've been doing YouTube for a long time, and I have a, a, a channel talking about living in Mexico, and there's other YouTubers that have shitty channels, shitty video, shitty production, shitty everything, but they are a black couple. So they automatically get more views and more pumped. Um, there's another couple that's a gay interracial couple. They get a lot of fucking pumps. You know what I mean? And I can go on and on. I'm not hating. I'm not anything. But that, I mean, you got to remember, I'm on the other side of the spectrum. You know what I mean? When you know, get taken to that, you know, I'm, you know, on my spectrum. You know what I mean? Remember, I am a white male pushing, you know, right, uh, right wing, conservative, you know, libertarian, uh, you know, living off the, you know, all that shit kind of values, you know what I mean? Like freedom, liberty. So which is the opposite. So they're literally censoring me. But it's funny because at the end of the day, like, you know, even though I might get like, fuck, like 10 times less views in these channels, these people have like, let's say a meetup and like five people show up. I have a meetup and like fucking hundred people show up. You know what I mean? Mm. So it's like, you know who's really watching who you know what i mean so like but this is all over twitter i like i haven't even looked into this but that's yes, because you fucking put the hashtag bro that's why it's... no all my hashtag was gabby patio and mm -hmm. here's another like these are all the top threads and i guess it's like look at this black men get killed by police weekly for driving while black brian laundry a white man drives his fiance's van across the country while she and she while she's missing is allowed to chill at his parents and mysteriously vanishes. How would Brian be treated if he was black? These are like the top fucking thing. Look at this, dude. Here's the next one. No, oh, what I'm saying, probably the same way as how he would be treated. Yeah, I mean, actually more, actually more favorably. We actually, if, if he was... Actually, nowadays? Yeah, I'm saying if, if he was black, he might, you know, actually, if it wouldn't be covered by the news, so there wouldn't be outrage over it. He would, by be, the way, he, would be put into, he would be put into prison yeah. and there would be a no bail, like no bail allowed system because we're getting rid of bail. So he would just be free. But yeah, you know, but I mean, on top of that, you know, he's driving through the South, um, you know, which is like, you know, meth central as well. You know what I mean? So, you know, a lot of people are like, you know, like, you know, a lot of uh, it's suspicious when we see especially in florida tags from out of state but it, what was it again like he was they were from florida and he killed them he killed her in utah and then drove back they were on a cross-country trip apparently here here's a video by the um, way florida tags are very suspicious no matter where you are on the highway police video missing blue point woman police in moab utah released body camera footage from 8 12 following an altercation between Gabby Patillo and Brian Laundry, So they had an altercation. No charges were filed. Patillo was listed as a suspect. Yeah, can they see something real quick? Laundrie real quick, real quick. was the victim. Wait, Laundrie the victim? Yeah. That's interesting. So she was listed as a suspect, and Laundrie, that's the boyfriend, was listed as the victim. Police right. separated them for the night. Let's listen to what they're saying in this video. No, but real quick, before we listen, perfect. I want to say something. Because I'm curious. Well, before we, so right there it says, remember, they're from Florida, traveling through Utah, you know literally on the other side of the country, and they, um, you know, there was there wasn't the police were involved, you know, in some. Uh, I gotta keep tracking you like Alex Jones, bro. Let me huh? Google to make sure they're actually from Florida. Give me a second. I don't know that. Do you know that that they're from Florida? You no, know, I mean I hear a lot of that. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least the guy is, is from what I understand. All right. But, but the point I'm making is that, like, they're driving. They're in the middle of nowhere. And what do you mean that the cops were called to stop an altercation? You know, like, what? Huh? What? You know, what? They're, what? You know what I mean? Usually, like, like they have to be in a home, a hotel room, something like that. You know what I mean? Like, let's say uh, a store and the cops are, are called to the scene. But what scene would they be called to? Where were they? You know what I mean? That is kind of very sus. Well, that's what we're going to watch. We're going to watch them do that. Yeah. I, I think it's just like domestic violence type thing. Yeah, but again, super to. sus, bro. Super sus. 
Let's see. High school sweethearts Gabby and Brian had set out in July in a converted van to visit the national parks in the West. They got into a fight along the, right, on, along the way, and Laundry was alone when he returned in the van to his parents' home in September, police say. Here's the timeline that we know so far. Yeah, July, so he, they didn't July. even know she was murdered or died until they got back, until he got back to Florida. That's what his story is, yeah. July 2nd, exactly one year before they started, in 2020, this is right during COVID, exactly one year before they started their cross-country trip, Gabby announced her engagement to Brian Laundrie on Instagram. Let's take a look. All right. Here we are. Here's a picture from our first date because I have so much love for you. Brian asked me to marry him and I said yes. You make me feel unreal. And every day is a dream with you. Okay. Right. Young love. Let's see how many followers she has. Yeah, okay, she, she has 994K. I wonder when that happened, though. Like, after, like, did this just happen because she died and went missing and everybody was hoping that she'd come back? Let's scroll down. No, I mean, even on her oldest post, she has 13,000 likes. I wonder, does it, oh, here's her YouTube channel. Shall we? Four it's million. Followers, oh, dude, man. she's got 79,000. So how many followers they had? That's a lot of followers, bro. Uh, that's how many followers she had on her Instagram. 79,000. YouTube subscribers. You know what I think too, bro? Like oh, I said, dude, that, no wonder she got this case blew up. This would, and people on Twitter are going, every black woman. <laughs> I mean, this blew up because she's famous and also because the mainstream media has, is a globalist operation and they need a distraction for the multiple amounts of crisis, crises no, but it's not just that, that Joe dude, Biden and his administration have brought to the United States. So this is a perfect ploy for them to bring the front. CNN loves this story. No, but more than that, more than that, I think that it's it's also because remember what I what I told you earlier about the hunting stuff, and this is the van life stuff, and so it's kind of like conflicting because it's like you know they they it's like oh, a lot of stuff out there wants that wants uh, they they want people to live this life, but at the same time they don't want people to live this life. You get what I'm saying? So now I I truly wonder if if um. How come their, ch their channel has no, no videos on it? Yeah, huh? yeah, I wonder if YouTube deleted them. No, 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 no. No, YouTube doesn't do that. That's them, I think. So they, they only... did that. So there's only one video on there? Yeah, it's got four. I mean, this video, this story must be the biggest story in the world because it's got 4.1 million views. Did they just get these 79,000 subscribers? So fucking weird. No, read the comments. The comments will tell you what's like... Uh... Oldest the first? Will, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. Top first is all recent, seven hours ago. A bunch of people just mourning her death. Okay. How long is this video? When did they post this video up? About a month ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but it's okay. interesting. But I think it's... Wait, wait, wait. Let's just continue on the timeline here. One second. So they depart in July of 2021, so about three months ago. The couple had been in Blue Point, New York, where Petito is originally from, to celebrate her younger brother's graduation from high school. But they real quick, I think they want people to live in vans and live that kind of life, but on their own, not with a couple. Not, you know what I mean? They don't want that whole... Anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Um, they departed from New York on July 2nd on a planned four-month cross-country journey. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. I'm not going to make a joke. Huh? I was going to make a joke, but I'm not going to do it. They didn't say it. Jokes. I wonder Joke. if they ended up fighting over, like, dude, you have to shit next to someone for four months? I mean, what was their plan for four months living out of a van? They must have... Well, when you're living out of a van, you're not really... Yeah, they're shitting somewhere. You know, shitting. What's this? I got something that says network unreachable, retired connection. Oh, that's Steve. Never mind. No, for, right. sorry, yeah. sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, sorry. I got like some weird notes. Okay. <laughs> Let's oh, keep it. Where wait. According. No, to but anyways, no, no. But like when you're living that kind of life, um, you're not shitting in the van, bro. You're not. You know, you're either in, uh, you know, campsite and you have like your own thing, or you're renting. Um, when I used to travel, I used to rent a hotel, you know, go to some cheap motel or some shit like that, you know? These people are definitely sleeping in the van. 
Probably, but I mean, they're not taking a shit in the van, bro. Well, yeah, that's true. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Mr. Lodak says... I mean, there's like fucking McDonald's and Jack in the Boxes along the way. (laughs) Yeah. The OP says probably bags. And truck stops. Probably bags? What do you mean? Like like shitting in bags. No. (laughs) That's what we need hey man, I'll tell you when I was shitting in bags, shit, shit was rough. I mean, I would have fought with anybody. When he just, I would have just dug a hole, bro. <laughs> it was um like at least a foot and a half of snow on the ground. Okay, continuing on. According to Petito's family attorney, I'm sure it would have melted right through. Go ahead. Yeah, according to Petito's family attorney, the pair had gotten engaged but postponed their wedding due to the pandemic. Oh my God! Another are they? There are another COVID loss, Jose. They were driving Petito's white 2012 Ford Transit van, which, according to the one of Laundry's posts on Instagram, they converted converted the interior to allow them to camp and cook meals inside as they traveled. Very standard, according to the social media posts. The pair traveled from Florida to Kansas, Colorado. Utah, touring and camping at several national parks and national attractions. Yes. July 4th. This was uh, about a month ago now. Gabby's Instagram timeline lists the states. August 12th. Here's the altercation in Moab City. In August, police had an encounter with Polito and Laundry, and the pair was described as having quote, engaged in some sort of altercation, according to the report released by the Moab City Police Department. Officers were called to reports of disorderly conduct and encountered the two of them, along with a witness whose full name was redacted from the report. Laundry and Petito are described as having gotten into some type of physical fight following an argument, but, quote, both the male and female reported they are in love and engaged to be married and desperately didn't want to see anyone charged with a crime. No, 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 no. And desperately didn't wish to see anyone charged with a crime. Mm-hmm. According to a report from the officer who responded, Petito was emotional and crying through much of the video. Laundry says the couple got into a minor scuffle that began when he Climbed into the van with dirty feet. Shit feet. <laughs> Patio admits that she slapped Laundry when she thought he was going to leave her in Moab. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. When he climbed in the van, so she slaps him when he has dirty feet. Patio. No, the Patito Patito admits is... that she slapped Laundry when yep. she thought he was oh, going to leave so her. He's... And yeah. Moab. So they were definitely fighting. Okay. And the La- couple also states that Laundry Laundry did not hit Petito. Laundry, who again is the suspect who's the man on the run, apparently in Mexico, has visible scratches on his arms, face, and neck. And police took photos of his injuries, and Petito was nearly arrested. But since both parties said they were in love and didn't want to be charged, they or have any charges pressed, the couple agreed to separate for the night. Laundry was put in a hotel by a domestic assault. Uh, so the man okay. was put in a hotel by a domestic assault outreach group. Here's that video we'll watch. Um, Patio's last known whereabouts this is the girl that died. According to a GoFundMe page set up to raise money and aid in the search for Patio, she was last known to be in Wyoming, heading towards the Yellow National, uh, Yellowstone National Park. Uh, okay. And then they just talk to her family. If we did some great coverage in a story that we didn't want to cover. Anyways, correct, so correct, correct, correct. Let's watch the video and then we'll move on. We'll keep covering it. Yeah, great. One last thing. <laughs> I know. You're just fucking busting, just busting your balls, I man. Know, just busting I know. your balls. All right, let's listen and then we'll go from there. If she goes to jail, it's like, uh, it, that, that, that goes down somewhere instead of her going to a hotel, right? If you get the um, citation, it would be. And so if she goes to jail, they're going to book her. Oh my god, I lost it. There it is. Uh, it, that, that, that goes down somewhere instead of her going to a hotel, right? If you get the um, citation, it's kind of depends. So if she goes to jail, they're going to book her. They're going to take her fingerprints and yeah. go out in front of this street. And then if they, if, if they don't convict her, then it will just show that it was dismissed. Like, it will show that her criminal history, but the charge was dismissed. If she was found guilty, it will show up that she was guilty of criminal assault. Bring him a ride over to the hotel. 
So they were just explaining to him, like, hey, so if they try her and convict her, it'll show up on her record. But if they don't convict her, it won't show up on her record. That, they were, he, that's what the officer was trying to explain, what his options were. Okay. So everything's going to be okay. Will it be a far drive for me to get him in the morning? I'm, I'm just curious. I'm not going to tell you where he's going to be at I, tonight. I like I said, I, I want you guys to be separated. I, but I, I can just, tell you this. I just don't usually drive the van, so I just want to make sure it's not like far. No, 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 no. It's, uh, okay, yeah. it, it's basically from here to Moonflower. Okay. Okay. If she goes to... Um, shows us nothing. Okay, I'm going to go back to the point where... um. Yeah, so who called the cops again? I mean, how do we well, get I mean, to that point? Th so they're alone. Uh, just um, There was apparently a witness. They were probably scuffling. And then he had oh, scars. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe they were fighting inside the van and the cops. And they called the cops and that's well, it. Or maybe like a witness called the cops. And yeah, 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 yeah. Like they were fighting in the, in the van. And then some, some random doer, some random person that saw the, the, the fight in the van just called the cops and said, hey, look, there's these uh, people fighting. Mm -hmm. Or whatever. <laughs> and I'm going to go back to the point where. You know what I, I mean, our, right? Yeah, oh, totally, dude. I like agree a Karen, with you. But I think. Karen fucking... Yeah, but I think, you know, like clearly they were getting out of hand. He has a bunch of scars. I don't think this confrontation had any impact at all on the ultimate outcome. I think it's too bad, but I think the mainstream media has blown. Well, you've, this... never been with a, you've never been with a crazy bitch, huh? No, I mean, like, I, I do. I, I feel like getting scratched and punched and stuff like probably they're across the country the two of them should be able to control themselves and not to do that but again i go back to the like the mainstream media blowing this thing you've never been in a toxic relationship or anything like that you never had a shitty girlfriend or a crazy girlfriend i don't Ever? know man. i don't allow myself to be treated like shit you know like i, I read matt beasley's, yeah, 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 I read matt I mean, beasley's book and i, get that. I, 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 I get don't that. allow myself to be treated like no, I know, I know, like but that. has that ever happened to you where you've gotten to the point where, you know, because remember, they, they no, dude, I don't, I, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't allow somebody to scratch me up, actually. No, I know, but have you Would ever you? been with a girl that you said, okay, if I stay with her, it could happen, this could happen? Have you ever been with a girl that eventually, like, hmm, you know what I'm saying? Where no, you I don't lose my, I don't lose my, I don't get physical, like, no, no, I don't you get don't aggressive don't around women. I'm not a okay, Cuban, I think. Yeah, you've never had a crazy girlfriend. You've never had a girl just snap and go crazy in front of I mean, you. You can justify your abuse of women. I'm asking you. Want, no, no, bro. no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just, just curious. I was just this side. No, I've side. never gotten a physically aggressive with. No, no that's I, not I would, what I, I wouldn't said. allow that to happen. That's not what I said. I'm very like tempered. for example, for example, like you've Art. never had a girlfriend. I where, IQ. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter what their IQ is. Trust me. So you've never been with a girl that, like, let's say that you're. I don't know, man. You're just with her. No, man. I'm, I'm not going to be abusive. Things, and then they just snap and go crazy, like from one second well, to the well, next. Uh, no, he. So they're alone, and he has a bunch of scratches on him. Unless he scratched himself. Yeah, look, he says the crazy ones give good head. But look, all I'm saying is this, man. Like, you know, I'm just curious because it's it's there's women out there that are just fucking nuts, and they just flip. And so you're right. You know, most smart men, if they ever encounter a woman like this, the first time, the first time that they snap. Because there's always a time. Um, that's when you just leave them and that's it. Um, but some other guys, you know, which a, a lot of guys do, they stay with the crazy bitch. And eventually it gets to a point where you're traveling across the country in the middle of nowhere and this bitch goes you're like crazy. And look, what I mean is like a cat. You know how like sometimes, you know, you there's, a, there's some cats that are nice and cuddly and they play and they're, and they're cute. And then there's other cats that no matter what, no matter what, they're going to scratch up your face. They're going to scratch you up. They're going to be like, blah, 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 and just go crazy. And they're fucking assholes. Right? So that's all I'm saying. There's women out there that are just like that. You know what I mean? Like they're just fucking nuts. Dude, just like there's men that are fucking assholes and, and like that too. But what I'm saying is that like, I think in this case, you know, um, something like that happened. You know what I mean? Where it's just like some sort of, uh, you know, it was already the beginnings of a toxic relationship. And then it just, obviously, like you were saying, being in a van together, stuck you know what I mean? For a lot of, for a long, you know, a period of time, it's only going to make it even worse. And um, eventually, yeah, dude, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like something happened, like for, for the guy. Oh, like, oh, again, dude, 
Have you ever been in a fight with a girl where you're like, fuck this, I'm leaving you, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm leaving you here. You know what I mean? Like, whatever. Of course. So, uh, yeah. Obviously, you would fight verbally, but you would never get physical. And what Lodak. Oh, I agree. No, I agree. Oh, never okay, had a... now you agree. No. Okay, Mr. Lodak. Oh, no, I always Mr. agree. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> the, the wind. Oh, no, yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, real totally quick. Calm, real quick. No, no, real calm, quick. No, hold on. Christian, never had a woman, if you need help, never Christian. Never do anything like that. But what I am saying is that there are women out there that hit men. There's t there's women that are crazy. Oh, of course. And they go and okay, that's what I'm saying. And so like, well, and so a lot of guys, they, they what are they gonna do? Most guys that are stand up guys, you know, we can't fight back. We can't. No, anything. dude, you just get out of there. Yeah, I mean, obviously, yeah, you gotta get out of that relationship. Yeah, but some guys stay in their relationship, and then they're the ones that get abused. Yeah, but you feel me? Like Mr. Lodak says, the original caller said he was hitting her. So yeah, he probably lost his temper and said stop, like whatever, like. Whatever, because I, I guarantee you, like, I'm just going to guess. And I know it's victim blaming or whatever, but I think with what I've seen here, when the police intervened, he was scratched up and she, she wasn't. was't. So the police and clearly, the way, I, if you just so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going off of like anything of my own preconceptions on this. I'm going off of what the people on the ground apparently investigating and responding ultimately identified as who was the victim and who was the one that was getting a little bit too nuts? And they identified, uh, unfortunately, the, you know, the girl as being like, you know, and so that's all we can go off of is that she got, got things, you know, she, like, you, like you're talking about, a little too, uh, you know, kind of crazy. And they were staying together in this van. And he might have eventually just kind of lost it, apparently. And um, he might be at fault for uh, murder. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, assuming, you know, that it's proven. No, I think, yeah, I think, uh, I think that's a pretty open, closed case, honestly. I mean, George Floyd, Derek Chauvin, I think our justice system will do, do its job here and definitely solve the case, quote unquote. And I think they'll uh, go ahead and, and I think he would be guilty. So I think he went to Mexico because who else could it have been, Jose? Who else would have, I mean, clearly well, look, it was him. See? Did you see, uh, see, look, I told you, so this is, this, this is a little bit too weird. Look at what, uh, Lucifer posted in the thing. And by the way, dude, man, she's a small, skinny girl. If you just grab her too hard, you could bruise her. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, and if, if he was hitting her, where, where the, where's the, you know what I mean? So anyways, but look, look at what this guy posted. Check Lucifer says, so we have oh, a girl. Oh, right, right, look at the thing. Look at the picture first. I mean, um. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull that up. We have a girl reported missing to 911 on 911 in Moab City, Utah, wearing a Zion t shirt and a pyramid necklace, officer with a 666 tattoo on his left hand. Nothing to see here, folks. Uh, I'll get the photo up. Yeah. Moab, you the, Moab, I mean, right? Ultimately, it does, like, like for all for all we know, this whole thing is fake. And, right, that's what I've been trying and, to tell you from the beginning. And um, that's why we weren't going to cover this because we just don't have any answers, so it doesn't tell us. No, anything. but we're covering the fact that it's fake and the fact that this is just again a distraction. Well, no, we don't know if it's fake or not, but we do know no, it's a, we, do. we do know it's a distraction. We do know it's a distraction because this like people on Twitter to their point, stuff like this does happen all the time. But they're of course, you know, making it a race thing. But the truth is, is like, why are we even discussing this? There's plenty of things to discuss. And here we are. Well, remember, what is Moab? Body discovered amid Gary Batino search. No. Oh, uh, Mo watch Mo Moab City Police Department. Um, what's the significance of Moab? I guess I don't know. No, 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 no. Yeah, remember Moab. Remember, remember uh, Trump? Remember mother of all bombs? Oh. Moab? Yeah, man. I don't know about that. I just, what we do know is that, like, okay. they actually, whatever we're talking about right now, it's a full distraction from the issues in my But opinion. yeah, dude, this is just a stupid fucking distraction. It's all fucking fake, phony, and false. This happens all the time. The reason that they, they look, the people, a lot, of, a lot of people say, well, look, if, if these things happen, like, again, five, six times a day all across the country, why can't they just use one of those stories as the hey. story to go but the and then the, you know going forward you know that this is Dude, fake another what? idea what oh no no but another quick, idea you know, jose 
the police yes. the police have all of their tech they have both phones at least they mm -hmm. should and if they don't trust me the government has them yes this is an open close just look at what is being texted no, between no. people and their friends and such so, it would be so easy to identify if this was getting to be such an aggressive right, situation right. because if it was overall very friendly and then just oh my god like there was that one fight where the police got involved it happens you know like yeah yeah mm -hmm. i mean people can get you know but mm -hmm. but if overall even days before everything was pretty lovey-dovey and like hey this is me and uh whatever his name is are out here we're just having a good time hey thanks thanks we're doing very well and and all their conversations are very cordial and friendly with everybody involved like every best friends and such yes this is bullshit that this isn't even um so this yeah, so again, yeah, so again, the reason that they have to fabricate this story, even yeah, though... They're, they're, that's what exactly... Wait, before you go on. So I'm gonna, that's what I was going to say. It's not that it's solved. They can't solve this story so easily. But mm. you're right. They're, fa they're like leaving out details as, and, and we're supposed to be trying to figure, figure it mm. out. Okay, so... Fabricating so, a mystery story. Okay, Perfect. So the thing is that even though this story happens around five to six times a day all across the country, every day, you know, in the U.S., and they can't just, and you're thinking, whoa, Jose, why are they fabricating the story, going through all this trouble to create this, you know, fake story? Mystery in order story. To no, use it as a narrative, yeah. and why can't they just use any one of those other stories? And the real, and the, re the thing is, is because any one of those stories is real, and they can actually get solved, and they're, and, and because they're a real thing, it's, um, whatchamacallit, it's unpredictable. And they can't control the narrative, as opposed to if the whole thing is done like a Hollywood production in which everything is controlled, you know, could perfectly controlled, and they control the narrative, they control the story, they control the everything, they control the conversation, they control everything. And basically, again, the and they're you're like, well, why are the, why is this story a thing? Why are they doing this? Again, it's because look at all the things that are going on right now all across the world, all right? Whether it's Afghanistan, you know, whether it's the virus, you know, again, right now what's going on with uh, the economy you know, and um, the Fed, the economy and the, and the Fed talking tomorrow. I could go on and on, China. You know, all the things, so many things, so many things. And so that the, they know how people are dumb. And so this is the great way to get people to fucking pay attention to something stupid. This in football. That's the perfect combination. They must have saw the football numbers were down, so they created this thing. <laughs> By the way, football numbers are up. You know, it seems like people are oh, really you know, they, distracting. Yeah, they are. Um, but 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 again, the women, you know, they need something. Look so at this, this Mr. Lodag. This murder mystery is for the women. Yeah, you feel me? The, no, Mr. it is. Mr. Lodak, Utah is four letters. Trump served four years. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Opie Taylor says four plus four equals eight times two plus one equals 17. <laughs> Minus six equals 11. The 11th, Minus the, two the 11th state nine. in the union. Wait, That's 17. Right. 17 is the number, you know, the, Utah was the 17th state in the union and it orchestrated in the year 17, seven, uh, 66 in the 66th month that's right that's right hey, i'm gonna wave i'm gonna wave at cody i see cody's waving at me so waving at cody waving at loda and if you spell oh, whoa backwards it spells hail that's right that's right additionally if you, reverse, if you reverse the word q it equals and if you look at this thing look. if you if you go directly beneath where this happened it's china mm -hmm. China on the other side of the world that's oh China like if you drill a hole all it's the way actually, like from the murder scene if you drill, if you a, drill hole a hole from the murder it, scene it goes right into the Wuhan lab that's right <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine if like things like if that's actually how shit worked somehow like just the physics of the world work like that where it's exactly but dude that's what do you mean bro that's that's exactly <laughs> that's exactly how it is bro ask a tr you know what ask um what should we call it? Ask uh, Alex Jones. He'll tell you. Uh, I think Alex Jones will agree. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, yeah. I had a couple stories I brought tonight. Let's do it. Do you need the, the news? Uh, 
Oye, me dio mi título. No, no, es... no, no, no. no, we're good. Give me a second here. We'll have it all pulled open. Oh, okay, all right. In the meantime, here, let me. Uh... Here we are. A huge new city is being built in the United States desert. Mm -hmm. Area 51 is getting some condos. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying, <laughs> to, I'm trying to get. Can I what? mess with your quag real quick? You I want to make them a little smaller if I you can. They start building a bunch of condos over there by Area 51 for the aliens. He says. I mean, it looks pretty. It looks pretty fucking alien looking. Oh. Why can't I? It? Give it, it, it is. Here. See, it is my area fifty-one. There you are. It is wow. my area fifty-one. Let me move bro. your quag. They're calling it area fifteen. I can't move your fucking. Oh wait, there it is. Uh, sorry, it was too much Pepsi. I had too much Pepsi. I apologize. By the way, for anyone that's listening to the podcast and doesn't watch the live stream, we are two talking. Hairless beavers. Yes. And in today's episode, I'm drinking a Pepsi and I have a clown nose. And I got glasses. Yeah, check us out on YouTube, Twitch, D Live. Just type in Shotgun News. Yes, check us out. Thank you. Live, Tuesday, Thursday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. So it says, it says, a you huge. Can leave, you can leave me small like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, a huge new city is being built in the United States, in a, inside a United States desert. Oh, by the way, but before we get started, like, do you know who's building this? No, who? China. Wow. Evergreen. Evergreen. <laughs> no. Uh, what let's do you see. mean, no, bro? What do, what do you, that's why they went bankrupt, bro. Because it, as soon as, uh, you know, as soon as they, the, the finance, was it the, the, not the financiers, like uh, the, the stockholders, right? Yeah. As soon as the stockholders, the shareholders, you know, they found out that where the city was being built, they're like, wait a minute, you're building this in the US? You're not building this in China? So, yeah, it says, went, the whole thing tanked. No, it's not a mirage in the desert haze, nor is it Elon Musk's latest plan to colonize Mars. These are the designs of the city of Tolosa, the latest project from billionaire investor Mark Lohr. And AKA, a, AKA, um, um, what's his name? Hasenblad. No, uh, Heisenberg. Mark Lohr he, is he made money by selling a lot of meth in the no, no, desert no. of the U.S. Mark Lore is a meth dealer, an American entrepreneur, businessman, investor, and NBA owner. Oh, really? There's, there's, the, connection, the, there's the connection to China. Mark Lore is 50 years old. Hey, a young he billionaire. He owns the fucking San Antonio Spurs. He is, what team does he own, bro? What team does he own? Let's see. Business investor, NBA owner from 2016 to 2001. He was the president and the CEO of Walmart United States e-commerce. He He's a Minnesota Timberwolves. No. Huh. Are you serious? No wonder. Yes. Really? Oh my God. Because they're going to sell that team. I mean, we that, that owner team. of the Minnesota Timberwolves and Lynx. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, I know that guy. I've seen that guy's picture. Okay. I know him. Huh. A parent company also includes diapers.com. Yeah, that was back in the day, probably. Yeah, it was way back in the day. <laughs> he sold it right before the bubble, uh, bubble burst. Yeah, probably. Lore was okay. named the Regional Entrepreneur of the Year in 2011, one of the smartest in the technology by Fortune Magazine and dubbed by uh, dubbed LeBron James. And dubbed the LeBron James of the e-commerce. So is that Hayden. good or bad? I don't know. That's I don't. I want to be one. I want to be one no. called the LeBron James of anything. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you call him? Early life. He was born in Staten Island. No, no. Wait, 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 wait. Let's get back to the city. Oh yeah. I don't give a fuck about this guy. All right, here we are. I don't think anyone gives a fuck about fucking Mark Levin here. What was his name again? <laughs> Mark Lore. <laughs> <laughs> Lore and Ingle's ambitious plan would see an entire city built from scratch in the desert, in the desert of the western United States. What's what's the state? Tell us the state. Within 40 oh. years, 
the duo. So, well, I mean, it has to be like again, Arizona, Nevada, or fucking, yeah. Well, why don't uh, they know? Or New I mean, Mexico. How preliminary is this? Laura and Ingle's ambitious plans would see the see an entire city built from scratch in the desert. From uh, within forty years, the duo intend to establish a fully contained city, which will extend about one hundred fifty thousand acres and have a population of five million. Our vision is to create a new city in America. Yeah, but where sets, where are they building? That sets a global standard for urban living, expands human potential, and becomes a blueprint for future generations. AKA the new slave fucking prison. Um, the yeah. blueprint designs are, depending on your taste, either dazzling utopian mm-hmm. or unsettling dystopian. Yeah, I'm going to go with the set. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. I'm going to go with that one. There's plenty of innovative architecture on display, along with futuristic visions of public transport and spaces filled with greenery and nature. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. So, again, anywhere where we building this thing? Yeah, yeah. And again, like Lucifer makes a great point. Um, where are they getting the water? Yeah, I don't know why. I mean, they must. The water, the desert? They clearly have not settled on much. They're just, I mean, are they not learning from what's going on right now with Las Vegas and California and all that shit? In the center of Telosa, the law plan. Dude, I don't give a fuck about any of this shit. Where yeah, the fuck dude, I do. We talk, about, we talk about projects like this No, all no, the time. I mean, I don't care about all this fluff that they're, you know, I, just, I, I would care about the story. I'm just saying, but I want to know, like, real. Yeah, like, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. All right. Indeed, the entire. Indian promos filled with buzzwords. Exactly. See, look, even, even the article that you're reading is saying this article is so much bullshit. I don't even want to keep well, writing it. No, he's saying, like, hey, the entire promotional piece for this was filled with buzzwords like sustainable, equitable, and human potential, <laughs> leading us nicely to the backlash against Telosa, which is rather substantial. Some commenters on the website of architecture and design dubbed the city a vanity project, uh, like a greenwashed Vegas, while others dismissed it as a plaything of another egotistical billionaire. Despite claims from lore at uh, Telosa, Despite claims from lore that Telosa could be the most sustainable city in the world, people were quick to question the sense of building another desert city when Las Vegas is already facing a dire consequence of severe water shortage. They have a point. The energy and water usage would be huge, and Telosa would be about 10 times the size of Vegas. So, will Telosa be a super sustainable blueprint for the future of the human race? Or will the mega expensive greenwashing flop? Or will it be a mega expensive greenwashing flop? We'll have to wait and see. In the meantime, there's lots of details on the website. So take a look and decide for yourself. And if you really love it, start packing your bags. Apparently the first residents can move in by 2030. Yeah, that's great. Telosa, here's the website. Yes. I want to see where the fuck this is going to be. That's that's where the only thing that really I care about right now. Where is this going to be? They're probably like um, currently purchasing, like they're giving all their billionaire friends like a heads up and they're, and they're not telling anybody because they don't want people like me and you to come in and buy from mom and pop and say, hey, we're going to go uh, just purchase this real estate right next door. Yeah, I want to put up a quickie mark. I bet they're even... Per- I put up a, can I put up the first dollar store in Tolosa? How much you want to bet? Like, hey, who does... I bet they're doing a bunch of anonymous offers and they're seeing like which place would be the best because they definitely, they need a lot of, they need a lot of land. And they're probably not coming in and saying, hey, I'm offering, hey, we, we just got an offer on the house, baby. Yeah, I don't think hey, it's going to be. Hey, we just got an offer. We got an offer on the farm. You know why it's not It's Nevada. from uh, a place called Tolosa. Yeah. But look, it's not Nevada. <laughs> Didn't Tolosa buy the neighbor's house? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for a lot. Apparently, they really needed that extra piece. Hmm. <laughs> Creating a anyway, more equitable. It's and- not, not going to be Nevada. Because Telos Nevada is, means the highest purpose. Um, it's all like all of it, besides Vegas and besides Reno and a few spots. Um, 95% of Nevada is owned by the federal government. So it's not going to be Nevada. If it is Nevada, well, then you already know who is behind the project. Now, so that means that it has to be New Mexico or Arizona. So where the fuck in Arizona or New Mexico would it be? I mean, what other desert states do we have? Let's watch this video, okay? Idaho? Dude, they're not the truth is, is they're not telling us where it's at but yeah utah 
there's deserts technically oh. there's deserts technically in colorado wyoming a little bit maybe but mainly arizona utah new mexico i could see it in new mexico where i mean they have to show us i mean who the fuck's gonna buy anything if they don't know where it is nobody they're not offering anybody to buy anything they just said that they can move in by 2030 no, they said pack your fucking bags so that means that we dude if someone's telling say me to buy bags, something they, they if they someone's said, telling me to pack, pack your... my bags i'm going somewhere in a few hours <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Let's 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 watch the promotional video. Okay, I'm excited. I'm packing my bags as we watch the video. Okay. Telos means the highest purpose. It was a term coined by Aristotle. It's about individuals in society coming together to reach their fullest potential. The cities that have been built to date from scratch are more like real estate projects. They don't start with people at the center. Because if you started with people at the center, you immediately would think, okay, what's the mission and what are the values? The mission of Telosa is to create a more equitable and sustainable future. That's our North Star, and that'll never change. What we're trying to do is combine sort of the best of different cities in the world and bring it together. So if you think about Telosa being hey, as vibrant and diverse as a New York City, combined with efficiency, safety, and cleanliness of a city like Tokyo, combined with the social services, the sustainability, and the governance model of a city like Stockholm. We are going to be the most open, the most fair, and the most inclusive city in the world. If you really want to go after a moonshot, which I would consider the city to be, you have to start with a big, bold vision. You need to raise the required capital. You need to surround yourself with the very best people in the world. And if you get those three things right, you can achieve incredible, magical things. BRK, who's the founder of BIG, expressed an incredible passion for this project. Tolosa, in my mind, sort of embodies the kind of social and environmental care of a kind of Scandinavian culture and the kind of freedom and opportunity of a more American culture. You get a great firm with someone who basically is super passionate and wants to see this project come to fruition as much as we do. We're taking a stab at what we call equitism here. What if you can pay the same taxes that you pay today? but get the best social services of any country in the world. That's equitism. Testing this new model for society, and at the same time, you're also testing building a city from a clean slate. What do you do? How do you infuse technology in it? How do you build it more sustainable? How do you build a public transportation system that's more efficient? How do you build underground movement of waste and goods to keep the city more clean and more walkable? How do you test autonomous vehicles to keep it safer. If I can imagine the ideal state 30 years from now, I would want people to have a sense of pride in the city because the city lives by a set of values that resonate with them. That the city's the most open, the most fair, the most inclusive city in the world. And that that's what people feel when they're in the city. Imagine, imagine. Yeah, yeah you know what, though? You know what, though? I'm going to come back and I'm going to say, I, the United States was built on 50 experiments, and if every city could treat itself as a, an actual experiment of trying to make, like, the best society, mm -hmm. like, the best experience. I like how he said he's not going to lift taxes. I mean, that's great for a new city to come what? up and say, hey, you know what? And it's, it's like, if you want to leave, he's, he's if you want to leave this taxes. place, fucking leave it. And that's but he's, great. He's not going to have taxes, you said? No, he said... Imagine a place where you get, you pay the same amount of taxes, but you don't, but you get much better, uh, you know, shit for your taxes. So basically he's, he's, he's saying that he's going to build a society from like a build a city from scratch. And if and we're going to do it better than the rest of the United States cities do, that's actually, he's privatizing city development. I like it. I have nothing wrong with this at all. You know, I, I prefer how we do it in the, back in the old days. We built this city on rock and roll. Yeah, but like, you don't, have, you don't have a problem with this. This is actually pretty cool, I think. No, nah, to me, it's uh, kind of... Um, do I have faith that he's... Yeah, no, to me, it's like, why build it in the desert? Why not build it anywhere else where you can get... Because cheap land. Know, water? Yeah, there's cheap land everywhere, bro. What the fuck do you mean? Somewhere we can get water, bro. Somewhere by a mountain or something. I don't know. Fuck. Why is that so hard? Let's see. To create a new... Why? I mean, why? You know, these people, like, they, they do all this fucking city planning, all this crazy shit, and it's like they can't even, like, it again, did. just what Lucifer said, you know, the obvious, like, you know, where are they going to get the water? 
and what Opie said, like, it sounds like Waco. I agree. It sounds like a cult a little bit. Hopefully you can, le like, you got to be able to leave, obviously. Like, if you don't want to be here, you should be able to leave, but obviously. Yeah, so again, a city in the middle of the desert, what's around that city? I mean, you got to remember, too, what creates the city's ecosystem is also other cities and, and areas around said city. Yeah, but like, for example, like, that's like the difference between something like Minneapolis, which is huge. Um, but what's around Minneapolis? Not much. You know what I mean? Um, and when you go to like, let's say New York or Philadelphia or whatever, when you get out of that city and there's just so much more yeah, and like, then other cities and other areas, you know, and you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Like there's a difference between one and the other. So if that's you guys are in right. the middle of the desert, if it's in the middle of the desert, there's nothing out there. I mean, like think about also getting supplies out there. You know, it has to be super self-sustainable. You know what I mean? Or, so again, back to the water issue, but yeah, go ahead. I just can't believe you're criticizing them trying to privatize something that I think, hey, maybe it'll work. No, I'm. By the way, what if I'm they not, can? What if they I'm can do this better than the fucking government? It wouldn't be. But too I'm asking surprising. the obvious, bro. Damn it! I'm just asking about water. The fuck? You know what I mean? Why is that? Like, because I'm asking because it, it, maybe I'm interested in going out there. The fuck? You know what I mean? I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying. It's like if you're buying a car, wouldn't you ask questions about the car? If you're buying anything, aren't you asking some questions like, "Hey, uh, whatever, whatever." Not if they can, if they can, if they can leave, then not a big deal. Like, let's just wait to see what they come up with. So why this, wouldn't you be able? This to isn't leave? bad at all. If this was happening in the Middle East, or if this was happening in China, well, why wouldn't you or be if able this to was leave? happening in Singapore? You know, like you know, what are you, what are you talking about? If this was about? happening in another place, wait, 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 wait. we if would, be, we would, city. excuse me, excuse me. We would, yes. be, we, oh, wait, would be, wait, wait, wait. we would be giving them a lot city. of credit, Jose, and we would be saying, yes. "Good, they should be experimenting with new, um, with with new methods to build systems because the current yeah. systems are corrupt." I'm not saying no. I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not. I'm not poo pooing on this. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually for this. I wish we. I wish we could do more of this. But I'm just again. I'm asking. Why a desert? That's all. You know what I mean? Like the, cheap, the cheapest. And where's the, the cheapest, water? The cheapest water land. is such a major component to living in cities. Cheapest land, and and they might. Yeah. Dude, you, you don't come on. Where where would you want them to build it? You want them to buy out a current city? They got to build. No, they, they can't have man, a current there's... city's infrastructure. They got to go Dude, to a have place. You, have you been? Have you been to like Kansas? Have you been to like Wyoming? Yeah, but have they need. Like... They do. They need big property and kansas uh -huh. and places. have you been to Wyoming? yeah but you it's have all you been, it's all national parks just, deserts are national been, parks have you been I usually no no the kansas is not a national park bro. i, I guarantee you, you they've thought they've thought this through enough i, I wouldn't be too concerned about the I location that they didn't. i guarantee that they didn't that's another thing too a lot of people give so much credit to all these rich oh, people it's, oh because well dude how do you think saudi arabia goes out and lives where they live Okay. Out of the way, bro. Oh, like places like Dubai. You, like for example, Dubai, right? That's like somewhere where you're like, oh my god, that's like the most awesome modern city in the middle of the desert, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. I mean, okay. So, like, you know those really big, high, expensive, beautiful buildings that they have. You know about that? I know they so, got. Yeah, they got big buildings there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they do. They do. And so, like, you know that water, right? They're in the desert, right? So water is an issue again. So, anyways, real quick. The plumbing, did you know that every day there are hundreds of trucks that literally go to these buildings and they fill the trucks with shit and then they take them out of the city to dump them because, well, they didn't build the infrastructure correctly and there's no plumbing to take the shit out of the buildings out into some waste area. So, so this gotta, is they, one that just of the means things. they got a bunch of septic system. Not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So do you do you not believe me? I believe you. I just think I mean, okay. So dude, why that, happened, that happens in the, very on, urban areas? Why didn't as they well. build a set, Why didn't they build a septic system? Probably because the maybe because the ground doesn't allow great utility infrastructure. Wait, wait, wait. But where are they building this? Probably somewhere. Wait, where's it? Where's Dubai built on? sand of some type right right and where's this uh Tels tesla city the T tosla what's it called tosla so are you serious you're saying that no what what is the primary uh like let's take mexico city what is it built for? what's the topography oh it's what, the worst possible place on earth on a lake hmm. literally 
I don't, literally. I don't know for sure. But... No, 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 for real. No. Sorry. So like the original Mexico City, back when the Aztecs had it, it was an island, right? That was surrounded by water. And now that has, you know, well, they built the city on top of that. You know what I mean? Because, well, the city is the size of Los Angeles metro area. And the original Aztec city was like the size of, I don't know, like a like Merida, you know what? <laughs> like, though, dude, it, 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 like, hey, if it yeah. fails, if he I'm dies, just if he dies, he dies. If it fails, all I'm saying, it fails. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. Look, I, all I'm saying is that I'm for it. I'm for building private cities. I'm, I'm thinking, I think it's cool. I think it's awesome. Um, in fact, Elon did this, tried to do this uh, called Solar City. Look it up. Um, so no, I'm down for this. I'm, I'm, I'm very supportive. But to me, it's like I think that. You know, people like we give too many too much credit to these people out there that, that we think that they know what they're doing. And um, I don't know, man, to me, it's just like, again, just the concept of building it in the desert. You know what, though? That's like the worst possible spot. I mean, you could have better luck in the fucking tundra, bro. Yeah. But you know, like, I, I do believe that this guy is super, super rich. Um, no, I think he's going to build a communist city here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Probably. I mean, I, I don't think we'll want to go, but I do like the idea of like, hey, prove that the concept works, and then maybe extrapolate it to. I wouldn't mind the same thing. Build a city like this and have it be um, only voluntary taxes, and maybe you know, like, whatever, privatize the police force, let shit mm -hmm. roll, and Just, then uh, abolish the police, <laughs> and then extrapolate that to. Yeah, if you can build, you're not, you know, if you can build your own city and have it be completely voluntary to move in and then see how the, see how it operates, do some studies and see, okay, but everybody's allowed to come and leave and, and you know, like this communist city here looks like they're going to have, here's their city sectors. And I'm, I mean, they're talking about grad, like this looks like they're going to have college and everything. So, yeah, like education here. So they're really, um, looks like they're building kind of a socialist society. Heck, though, yeah, but you better, said I mean, better for them to run it here than us to elect a Bernie Sanders and try to implement it across a corrupt current system. At least here, you could implement something, see how it works, and then if it doesn't work, like if it works, if one of the programs works very well, you could run it on a national level because people would vote and say, yeah, you know what, let's do that that they did in the city here for their health care or something. Oh, it's not working. I wonder what's going on. It would make a lot more sense to try it on a small level. Or, hey, no taxes. You might want to no, run to that me, on a like, small scale guy, first. Yeah, but the guy, the guy said it in the video. You know, he's like, yeah, we're gonna make this an all inclusive place. Yeah, he's. I don't, yeah. I don't think he meant. I don't think he meant like all inclusive like resort type shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, I no. He meant <laughs> like he uh, meant... if you're uh, white. You might, you, we might have a cap. You might not, uh, you know, you might be the slave here. We might have a cap. Yeah. So I don't know. I think, uh, yeah, no, you're right. You know, who knows? And maybe after, you know, we, the U S goes to war with China and we go into world war three and we got to like purge all of these commie wannabes out of, uh, you know, out of existence here in the U S we this maybe that's where we put them we might put them in this mega city you know like, like a, yeah you know we might we might be selling it to like an utopia but when they get there it's just like fucking uh you know like one of those uh internment camps or whatever look at this know? citizens are provided with honest and clear financials imagine a city where citizens all city meetings are open well okay they're already technically open and accessible so citizens can easily effectively participate in the decision making and budget making process yeah like i said this is uh you know this is a moron you know um, yes, making something it for morons. So good. you know citizens Again, are informed what it says citizens are informed and politicians are accountable all meetings mm -hmm. calls wait calls and correspondence with city officials will be part of the public record all of them interesting all of them jose Okay. <laughs> I like that. Why can't we just, I mean, you know, I don't even want to get it. I mean, quality training programs, preparing people for jobs of today and tomorrow, comprehensive training and skills upgrade. Oh, so they're going to have a, a better education system. See, this is the thing where maybe if I, I really hope that they do. Dude, you could just start a small town and do the same thing. And I mean, yeah, you, well, you could just be elected and then fight against the bureaucracy in a small town and, you know. <sighs> 
Anyway, but hey, yeah, this is this just might be a bunch of fucking bullshit. You know what I mean? Just a bunch of fucking. Oh please! Uh, if this was if this was, if this was happening, if this was happening anywhere other water. than the United States, you'd be all yeah. dude. If this was if this was Mexico. And this was happening. I, in the middle, I still call this was happening in the middle of fucking Mexico. No, you wouldn't. I still call dude. bullshit on you it, bro. I mean, it's, I mean, it, dude. It, in fact, it is happening in Mexico. We do have things like this happening where? here. In fact, okay, very bring close it. to where I live. Bring in it fact, on very Thursday. Close to where I live. Bring yes. it on Thursday. Huh? Bring it Thursday night. No, I'm dead serious. All right, bring it. But no, I'm telling you. I mean, you about you, I don't want you just to say, "Oh, I'm serious." No, like, I, I, I'll, I'll tell you, and I can fucking even thing. bring some things up right now, like on screen. Like, look, man, at the end of the day, what's this is not, you know, this is just a <laughs> mega project, okay? But out here and just like all over the world, you know, there's a lot of people that are buying a bunch of land and then they're dividing it up and then they want to fucking make these little utopia fucking neighborhoods out of it and all this other shit, you know, with their own rules and their own whatever. We have these things in the U.S. already. They're called associations and shit. I mean, come on, come on. Uh, if this was happening anywhere else, you'd be all about it, dude. You'd be talking about, hey, dude. No, I'm not I'm, all over. They've been you'd doing be, this you'd in China be discussing for years. the downfall of the American what are you civilization. Talking about, bro? They've been doing this in China oh, for years. Hold on. They've been doing this in China for years, and I've been saying that it's terrible. No, I haven't. In fact, earlier this year, I've been we, saying, I've been. I earlier this year, we talked about how I think it's Dubai or cities, not Dubai, bro. but yeah. there's a country that's building a, a city in a straight line. You remember the city in the straight line? Uh, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. Yeah, and we didn't have anything yeah. negative to say about it. We just said, "Hey, look! It looks like other countries are are building and trying different experiments." Hey, is this straight line going to be through the desert? <laughs> they actually, the one that they're building is. Oh, yeah, it was on the river, though, right? No, it was, but they didn't like they didn't stay next to the river. It was like from the, but it was like I don't know, maybe had river access. Maybe on one side of it. I mean, it was like a hundred yeah, okay, mile so long look, straight place, road. Yeah, so if this place was like built by a river. I'd be great. I'd be all about it. And that's the only oh negative. By the way, that's the only negative so I have. We don't bro. even know the location, man. Maybe it will I be. No, that's what I'm saying. The only whatever. negative is that we don't know the location. I'm, that's the only thing I'm negative about. Oh, okay. I told you. The oh, yeah, but we got you on the record. The water, the water location situation. That's it. Let's read the comments. And we'll How laugh. is that not important, bro? Am I missing something? Yeah, you're missing the fact that somebody's trying to build a new. Um, oh, I know that. I think that's great. But the, the next question a better like, system no, for I'm people to in, live in on, that they on. would choose to live in. Got it. But the next question I would ask this dude it would be like, hey, bro, I'm interested in investing in this mega city project. I think it's awesome. I just got one question. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Where are you getting your water? <laughs> I, I guarantee you. Why is wait, that? Man. Why is Well, dude, why is it? Why are you being so defensive? Why is this a bad question to ask? Because it's like... Wait, why is this not allowed? Why am I not allowed to ask I don't this even, question? You know what? Here's the truth. I don't even... I don't even care if this city actually gets built. We're celebrating the fact that... Like, do you want... Do you think that there's going to be a civilization on the moon? Where would the moon yes. get water? Oh, I, I, that's a great question. I don't know. Same as Mars. I don't know. They better... So Elon should we better, just call the moon Elon stupid? Better, hey, Elon better solve for that. <laughs> yeah, well, he is, dude. I think he's going to create water when he gets there. I mean, by that time, we might be able to make water ourselves. They might know something we don't. Yeah, you, you, we could do that technically. We could do that now. But it's expensive. Oh, well. Very I don't expensive. know, man. And you know that water is free. You know what I like? I like to see, the, I, I, like to see I like to see the billionaires. Why make water if it's free? Operating in the free market, building a system that they think, hey, they're like, hey, we can do this better than the... Um, than Vegas. No, we can do this better than the government. In Albuquerque. We're going to build... We can a, do it better than Albuquerque. I'm, I'm a billionaire, <laughs> and I'm going to build a city that produces better... Um, hey, hey, I'm, not, I'm unelected, but we're gonna have people better are going to want to live here, and I don't want to have to deal, I don't wanna have to deal with an existing administrative state, and I'm going to build my own, my own place that people are going to choose to move into, and it's going to be the shit. And I think that's great. I think people. I think right. every country should have experiments like this going if they can. I agree. I agree. They're gonna have. They're, 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 they're gonna have better meth than Albuquerque, bro. <laughs> Straight. Straight up. Um, Lucifer says they could drain the Kamal humps. I guess. Mm. Okay, Moster Lodak says. To be brutally honest, that was a promo that had so many holes in it that it wouldn't float on water. But how water is the main concern. 
it's not a exactly it's not really a problem you know that's why it has so many holes i mean it, it's not going to drown because it's on sand you can't really it's gonna be fine it's like it's like throwing look it's like if you throw us i mean but look at the same time it's like it's like a slice of swiss cheese you could technically throw a slice of swiss cheese on water and it'll float right uh, yeah, yeah. all right boys i think it's like the surface water to area no no we gotta do two hours bro we're on a roll i know you're tired drink a pepsi yeah we gotta go another nine minutes that's right drink some pepsi why are, you upset? why are you upset, bro? Why are you upset that I? I asked- oh, I've already proven your hypocrisy on this, Jose. I'm I actually. Water. I'm not upset, dude. Don't don't don't, don't make water. me comment any further. The case is dude. settled and closed, my brother. But all I want is water. The jury is out. How, how, how are they going to make Pepsi? How are uh, dude, they going? How is the, you're I, never I, this, dude? You're how never is the this critical factory? about projects of dude. We, dude how is the Pepsi? How about, how about it's not your project? If you think you can do it better, go fucking do it yourself, bro. No, Let's I'm see what they best. do, man. I, 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 I actually best. appreciate. I I appreciate the fact that this is even a story that they're they're going to. It doesn't even matter if it happens. The fact dude, that I the have fact that the idea million. is being put out there is a win. We talk about dude. Nicki Minaj challenging the vaccine and celebrate that. We're not That's celebrating right. the fact that supposedly maybe some billionaire might try to build his own city. If he doesn't, somebody else will. And that's, what, you great. know, that's this great. Is great. But I think this is great because we need a prototype oh for when we get to the moon and shit like that. I think this is wonderful. You know, again, why can't you just say something? Look, maybe he's building it in the desert because there is no water and he wants to see if we can do this by creating water from another means to see if we can replicate this on the moon or Mars. If you tell me something like that, I'd be like, oh, wow, damn, that's awesome. Fuck. This guy's a genius. You know what I mean? But like, you can't even well, provide I don't know that. that. I can only oh, speak... You couldn't even give me a answer. You were just getting mad when I was asking about water. No. Because I want Pepsi. I no. want my fucking Pepsi. You wanted to trash on this because it was from the United States. I'm not trashing bro. on it. Yeah, and, and you were like, oh, let me ask you this. Where's he going to get water? Okay. Yeah. And as soon but as... Why, but why... But dude, what... what if a podcast, right? Are we supposed to have a conversation? There's and cities built... So they clearly don't have the land situation down yet. It's preliminary, but they're saying that they're going to work on it. Let's see if they do. But I don't, it doesn't actually matter for the fact of the story is is that people are going to start doing this. They're going to start building cities in Merida, Mexico, in the United States, apparently, in other countries are already doing it. And they think that some private guy says, this is my fucking land, and I'm going to build a society in a city that people want to move into and uh, they're going to leave your, uh, your bureaucratic Tempe, Arizona government behind because we're going to do things much, much better. And then Tempe, Arizona, and the senators from Arizona are going to have to be like, whoa, 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 whoa. What hey, can do we have question? here? What do we have here? What will be the official religion of this city? Will it be like uh, Scientology? Or, or science? Yeah. Thanks. I don't know. That's the thing. I like this city. Like you're talking about, it's talking about equity. It has all these buzzwords. I probably won't want to move into it, but I hope that it starts a trend of experiments like that. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, maybe one day. In the United States. Um, it could be a conservative city. And all. Oh, no, like white just. Uh, city. Like. Can you imagine an all white city? All white people? That was like a concentration camp. Or a city just full of... Hey, white boys. people, get in there. You got your own city. It's called whitecity.com. Go to whitecity.com. Can you imagine like Move a in. black city? You'll like get instructions city. when you go to whitecity.com. Log in like with a, your white user ID. Yeah. You're given, I mean, why not? You're given when why you're not? Having a city for black people, having a city for white people, having a city for, for all kinds of no. uh, brown people, you know? Like I you like know? um the free voluntary movement of everyone. Are you having a gay city? You know, if you're gay, you could but go. They to... could, but Jose, they don't. You, would you rather they just be able to move in and move out so long as like whatever they want to do? Yeah, it's America, freedom. Yeah, so not a white city and a black city. Why not? You know, like, you don't think people will be interested in that? I think they would. I think it's. I think black people would like to be in a black city. And I think white people would like to be in a white I city. think it kind of already happens, you know, like a lot of black mean, people end up living in the same cities. But it's just the free movement of people, how they choose. That's right. 
What would be so very, this whole, very this. interesting is if China did something like this. Like, like not just NBA owner, but like actually some billionaire from China came in and just stated, look, I purchased all this land. It's legally mine in the United States. I'm a citizen. And yes, I'm building a Chinese aligned city in the United States. If you don't like it, you can leave. And in fact, it's not even built yet. You don't have to live here. But if you, you want to, if you want to, if you want to come in, move in, and yeah, we'll speak a little Mandarin, and and we're gonna have, you know, we're gonna have uh, conversations with the Chinese government quite a bit. But this is America, and we are free to build this uh, this on our land as we please. And we're happening to build a Chinese community, and we love Americans. And you can certainly come in. But yeah, yeah this, gonna do this that. is uh, this is uh, it's called. Um, New China. Yeah, but you know they they tried to do that like in Waco. They tried to do that in other places, and uh, it didn't go so well. And that's Americans okay. doing it in America. So yeah, that's not gonna fly. Hey, I think that's the future, though. Maybe not mili- like just like we talk about financial terrorism. This could be a new type of like privatization, and then that private organization and it is. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting, huh? Very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but like I said, the government's still in in charge, and uh, they don't allow shit like. Hey, man! That. I mean, this is a movement away from the government. I don't care how you see it. No, it's, I know. It's at least a movement not, towards a more. Oh, yeah, I get it. I get it. That's why they don't allow it. That's the point. You're a hundred zillion percent on the ball there. That is why they don't allow it. Just simply because it is a movement away from the government. They don't want you to move away. They don't want you to be your own thing. They don't want you to do any of that. They, they need you. They have to have you um, be a slave to the system. Yeah, you and you don't like the fact. You're, and you're you all focused off on the fucking government. And the water, government bro. is not supporting you. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they need you to live off the government. They need you to be, you know what I mean? Like yeah, but you're all, fo- you're all focused on water. Come on, man. In the names of Joe Biden, come on, man! All focused on fucking water as we're moving away from the government. We'll figure that yeah, shit like out. Yeah, like I said, if this happens, if this happens, it's probably going to be some government-run operation. This is not like some private. As much as you, uh, he's already as, long as, as much as you would, we, people would like that to happen. I, I don't. Uh, well, I mean, we got to, you know, we'll see, man. Not in today's, not in the today's USA, bro. You know, like I, I do see on the website all that stuff about like all that socialist stuff, but I also heard him say something about. You know, imagine paying the exact same amount. So, like, hey, it, you know, and I'm not saying that's great. Somebody should come in and do something better. It's called communism. But, but, so long as you can voluntarily leave, it should have to be sustainable, you would think. Maybe. Yeah, if you can't voluntarily leave, I think that's called kidnapping in the U.S., right? Yeah. Oh. Right. All right. Still, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, you know, like... Uh, Mr. Lodak says, what if presidents aren't really puppets, but the whale in the market, and they are given four years to retain their wealth? Mr. Lodak is clearly high. You think uh, (laughs) Biden is uh, out there pumping and dumping? Yeah. Mm. Must be. Maybe that's why Kamala Harris is so busy. She's out there fucking trading those markets. She's uh, listening to Tone (laughs) Vays. You ever ever listen to that guy? Is that guy even still around? Pedro Remember goes, when I first got into crypto? He is. Pedro says yes. This project must be approved by my oligarchy hand. Yes. Just move to El Salvador and pay no tax with Bitcoin. Yeah, actually, I got I got friends that moved out there. You know what I mean? I might actually go check it out. Um, visit. It's not too far from here. I would love to go check it out. It'd be very interesting to see how that works. You know what I mean? Because I've already seen things, you know what I mean, about what's going on out there. You know, now recently with the whole Bitcoin in El Salvador and how they're using it as currency, and because they made all the citizens, not they didn't make them. They could do whatever you want, you know. But basically, like you have the option now to download this app, and now you can use Bitcoin like any other, like dollars, you know what I mean? But just digitally and on your phone, and it's using the Lightning Network. So basically, you know, like let's say the transaction is just a few tacos and a Coke, and it's like three dollars. You can pay with Bitcoin, and it's gonna be three dollars, and that's it. It's not gonna be like any fees and and any of that crazy shit, you know what I mean? And the, and then then the government, you know, they're the ones that are being the intermediary, you know. So basically, the they're providing the liquidity. Because you know, oh, uh, how, wait, 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 listen to how excited you are when you're talking about another, another country's experiments. Interesting. 
Yeah, I wish, I wish the U.S. would do that. Oh, That'd you wish cool. the United States would try experimenting with different government organiza- no, like with organizations, no, with different, type things? Yeah, with different, you know, the things that would actually oh. help the population, bro, yeah. Uh, do you not hear what this guy's doing? What we just talked about for the past half an hour. He says he's going to build a better government, basically. That's what yeah, he's saying. I, and I, I never said no. I don't know where. Dude, Gosh. can you come on, give me a semi look? You know what? Later after we're done, clip the part where I say um, that I am against that idea and, uh, and send it to me because I have no idea where you th- where you heard me or where how you think that I'm against that idea of building that mega city. I didn't say I was just asking about the water. In fact, I didn't even ask that question. Lucifer asked that question. And I was just like, oh, yeah, that's a good point. And in fact, I think everybody in the chat was also agreeing with me. So I, and that's just a valid, this is a question I was just asking. That's it. And again, I provided answers for you. And then that's all I said is like, man, if you were provided any, any answer, I would have been satisfied, you know, but there was no answer. So that's how I was just curious, you know, and again, I was just, you know, plus it was, you know, good conversation. Um, Pedro says, Jose never touched the Pepsi. Opportunistic product placement. Well, actually, it's not a Pepsi. It's a Pepsi. Okay. It's uh, my own product. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, literally hairless beaver pee. It's Pepsi. See, that's why it's blue and I'm blue. Okay? And I got the red nose and the red lick. How did you, man, damn it, Pedro. Buy Pepsi. Lucifer says, Good point. Try living without water and get back to me in three months. That's right. Wait, how, about three, how about three hours? <laughs> yeah. All right, fellas. Till Thursday. We'll be back Thursday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. Shaka News live. YouTube, DLive, Twitch. Check us out on your favorite podcast app. If you can't watch live, well, audio files are over there. We're syndicated Sundays on to Crazy Boy Radio. Uh, links are in the description. Jose, yes, please don't. Thank you very much. It was a great episode. I think we did a great job today. Um, shout out to you, and um, please don't forget to you know contact your local representative uh, to get some Pepsi, aka Beaver Juice, into your local stores. Sure. Thanks all right. to Thanks. all of you guys for watching. All American, and... all American business. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. We'll be back on Thursday night. Until then, bye.